Climate change is a significant and lasting change in the distribution of weather patterns over a period of time. Human-induced alterations of the natural world are currently causing global warming. Climate change is often used to describe human-specific impacts. Human activities such as burning fossil fuels, ozone depletion and deforestation are harming our environment. We need to change our attitudes in order to protect our natural surroundings and ensure environmental sustainability. Hi, I'm Maria Brown and I'm a PhD candidate here in the Department of Civil, Structural and Environmental Engineering in Trinity College Dublin. Today I'm going to give you an insight into the research that I carry out here. There are many clean energy options available to us and it is vital that we take full advantage of them. For example, wind, hydroelectric, solar, tidal. My research focuses on the bright renewable, that is solar energy. Of all the incoming solar radiation, 30% is reflected back to space, while the remaining 70% is absorbed by clouds, oceans and land masses. The total annual energy that reaches the Earth's surface is approximately 3,850,000 exajoules. To put this number in perspective, the amount of solar radiation reaching the surface of the planet is so vast that in one year it is about twice as much as will ever be obtained from all of the Earth's renewables combined. This is a solar photovoltaic module. Each module is made up of a series of solar cells. Each solar cell can convert sunlight into electrical energy. It carries out this by the photovoltaic effect. Currently, photo photovoltaic panels are approximately between 15 to 23 percent efficient. However, there is one problem with them. As photovoltaic solar panels generate electricity, they also absorb heat from the sun's rays. This heat energy increases the temperature of the solar panels and causes them to lose their efficiency. By integrating a phase change material onto the rear of the solar panel, the excess heat absorbed by the panel is transferred to the phase change material. This stored heat is used to heat water. This is phase change material. On melting the phase change material from a solid to a liquid, it can absorb a large amount of heat energy. I am integrating this with a photovoltaic panel. This is my project. It is called a photovoltaic thermal system. Photovoltaic because the PVs produce electricity and thermal because the water from the domestic tanks will be heated using the PV. Research into harnessing solar energy is vitally important. It is a clean and inexhaustible source of energy and it could potentially make considerable contributions to the energy problems the world now faces.